Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, we're gonna cover some quick and simple steps to sharpening lawnmower blades. We're gonna keep it really short and sweet, really simple. Let's check it out. All right, so a lot of you guys wanted me to do a follow-up on the RBG 712 blade grinder. Let's do this really quick. Let me show you guys how to sharpen a lawnmower blade. We'll make a couple passes, and then I wanna give you guys just some frequently asked questions that you have been asking me since we did our first video about nine months ago. Let's put on our safety glasses. Safety first. Hearing protection if you got them. We got the isotunes. <laughs> So here's the deal, a lot of you guys have been asking me a lot of frequently asked questions when it comes to the RBG 712 and sharpening lawnmower blades. And by the way, we did a whole nother video, like 20 minutes in depth, about ways to do it if you're a DIYer. I'll make sure to uh, leave a card for you guys on that video if you guys wanna have that approach. But here's the deal, um, number one, pre-sharpening lawnmower blades. Do you need to pre-sharpen lawnmower blades? For example, here is a fresh, brand new lawnmower blade. We just got our bulk tool supply order. Or if you're shopping at a Home Depot and you're a homeowner and you buy your first lawnmower blade, do you need to get rid of this black paint? Simple answer, no. Leave this protective coating on. As you sharpen or as you cut grass, this will all uh, wear off and then sharpen the blade from there on out. Another question I get, should we pre-balance our lawnmower blades? Uh, well, they should be coming out of the factory pre-balanced, uh, but honestly, they make these in quantity and mass, so usually you're not gonna see these perfectly balanced. However, if you're running a commercial lawnmower, I think you'll be just fine. The spindle housing is very, very uh, stout, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you wanna put them on a little blade balancer cone, I think this is a Stens, I think is how you say it. It was like $6, it's on Amazon Prime. Everybody should have one of these, whether you're a commercial guy or a homeowner, uh, pick one up on Amazon Prime. I'll leave the link in the description to like five bucks, get them in two days, you can't go wrong with that. Put your uh, lawnmower blade on the balancer like so, make sure that it's even, and this blade, it might be a little top heavy because I'm holding it, but you guys get the point. So, do you need to pre-sharpen? No, do you need to pre-balance? Honestly, I don't think I've ever pre-balanced a lawnmower blade, and you know what? We've used hundreds of lawnmower blades. Now, the big question I get, RBG 712 versus the All-American Blade Grinder. Like I said, we uh, covered that on our previous video last summer. How do you de uh, decide between the two? Here's my rule of thumb. If you're uh, an owner-operator, you're just getting started, you're a DIYer, you're a homeowner, check out the All-American Blade Sharpener uh, little system, the little jig. Yeah, it's 200 bucks, uh, but honestly, it's really good quality. And you know what? It keeps the uh, imperfections out of you know trying to use a, a grinding wheel and not getting that perfect angle every single time. It's like about 200 bucks and that'll uh, serve you for the first couple years. Now, here's the deal. As you continue to grow, for me personally, we have 100 clients or more. We have a couple zero turns. We go through about a half dozen set of blades through the season for sure. And I'm grinding them out about every two weeks. So an average lawnmower blade, you're getting about eight to 10 hours worth of mow. So for a homeowner, you might wanna sharpen your blade twice a year. For me, uh, with the uh, six different sets of blades, 18 blades, right? We are uh, changing them out every two weeks. So basically every other day, I'm changing out my lawnmower blades because that's about six to eight hours of mow time. So if you're a commercial guy and you only got three lawnmower blades, one set of blades for your mower, I would not drop 500 bucks on the RGB 712. I'd get the All-American Blade Grinder or just a $50 jig and a $60 angle grinder and you should be fine. Now another question I get, can you do mulching blades? I'm gonna say no, because there's two little uh, grooves here, two little guides that you put the blade in on both sides, and it's gonna give you that 30 degree angle, which is um, optimal for a lawnmower blade. You can't really put a mulching blade in there because it's gonna bevel, it's going to uh, have a little bit of a wave to it, or it's got the notches on top. You're not gonna be able to slide that through. So here's the deal. These are for flat lawnmower blades. Most of the OEM blades, I'm sure it can go through here, but it's not for a mulching blade, a gator blade, so on and so forth. Another question that you guys got for me, which I had to look this one up because I don't know, I'm still new with this unit, and we've only had it for about a year, is when do you change the grinding wheel or how is our grinding wheel held up? Well, you guys just saw me put this blade through here, and again, we've probably put, I don't know, 50 to 100 sharpens uh, on this wheel, 
it's holding up really, really well. So about a year as a commercial contractor is probably what I'm gonna give a shelf life on a wheel if you're sharpening about 20 blades every two weeks for about a year. Once you start seeing the paper show through instead of the orange, that's a good time to change the blade grinding wheel out. So when you see that white and blue grid, something like that, that's usually when it's time to change. Let me know if you guys have a 712 or the 934, the big boy, the older brother, the big brother. Let me know in the comments if you guys have uh, changed out the wheels before or how long they last you guys. I've got one on order. I'm probably gonna run this for about another month and then we'll be good to go to probably switch it out as we start making all those first uh, blade sharpens as we go into spring. I'll wrap it up with this guys. I have never bought a tool that I've uh, probably thoroughly used more or enjoyed more than the RBG 712 blade grinder. Game changer for a business of my size or bigger. You know what, again, you take the blade, you pull it right through, you do about two or three passes and you're good to go. The one thing I'd say is, don't pull it all the way through and then drop the tip. You're going to start rounding this out. You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep it squared. So just pull it straight through, don't let it fall. Pull it straight through, don't let it fall. All right guys, as we wrap it up, short and sweet, last thing I'd say, don't forget to get your blade balancer. You guys can see these little $6 ones, they go a long way. Also, we have the $90 one that we mounted on some wood here. This is balanced, uh, we use a little level to make sure. So this right here is like 80, 90 bucks. It's a little, again, a little bit more big boy club for the commercial contractor. But if you're a homeowner or a DIYer, get a blade balancer. You do not want those blades spinning at the velocity and the rotation that they do, having them unbalanced, all right? Some practical tips for you guys. Again, if you're a DIYer, homeowner, uh, or you're just getting started, take the 200 bucks, go buy the All-American Blade Sharpener. I think that jig is a great crutch or buy a jig, like a vise, and then a angle grinder. But if you're a commercial guy, a commercial cutter, spend the 500 bucks and spend the $75 getting the grit collector. This shoots a lot of metal shavings. I can only imagine how this would look without that blade grinding uh, uh, hopper to catch all those shavings, you know what I'm saying? So, all right guys, over and out. Just a quick, fun, timely video for you guys. If you wanna sharpen your blades, the easy way to do it, this is what we're using. It's been working out for us pretty well so far for sharpening all of our lawnmower blades as we go through the season. All right guys, over and out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll leave a link here for the other videos if you wanna check those out. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new, and we'll catch up with you guys on the next one.